Hi, welcome. So today I'm going to be talking you through my top London afternoon teas. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe down below to this video. I would like to start by dedicating this video to my mum because this is our thing. We like to always go for London afternoon teas that we do together. So this one's dedicated to her. And these are just the top four that I consider to be the best of the best. They are pretty pricey, but I mean, that's just something that we save up for and that we do together. So I'm sure there are cheaper ones out there, but these are our top four, so. So the Goring. So we actually went to the Goring because my mum had always wanted to go. Me and my sister treated my mum to this one because uh, she said, oh, Caitlin Dobson, got, stayed there the night before our wedding and I bet she's done afternoon tea here, so. Yeah, that's why we went here and it was really nice. Super, super fancy, as you can imagine. Yeah, a traditional afternoon tea. Definitely worth the money. Gorgeous gardens. I think we did this one in summer. And yeah, it was, it's really, really nice. So the Goring, it's just behind Buckingham Palace and it's super, super luxury. So it's definitely, definitely worth one. I'm really glad I've done it. So I don't know whether these, they're not really in any particular order, they're just my four favourites. Um, so the next one is Claridge's and um, needs no introduction, the infamous for both obviously the hotel and the afternoon tea and the kind of turquoise Tiffany blue famous, the crockery, the Tiffany blue and white striped crockery and yeah, it's, it was really, really special. So we went during Chelsea Flower Week. So they gave us a big bouquet of flowers, um, the sandwiches, the cakes were just exquisite, as you can imagine. It's, it has very good reviews for a reason and the door staff are fantastic. And they treat you really like, like you were a guest in the hotel, which you are for a couple of hours. So Claridge's was really, really special. Now, I know on this list, there's one that I still want to do. Yes, yes, you're gonna say, I can't leave, she's not done that one. Yes, I want to do the Ritz, and the Ritz is not on this list. So disclaimer, don't watch this video if you want to hear about the Ritz, because I've not done the Ritz, that's on our list. So the next one is the Barclay, and uh, this is the Pretta Porty. Now I've actually done this three times. Uh, so I did it once in summer, twice during Christmas. And I think that's another reason I've never been able to get a reservation at the Ritz during Christmas. And that's generally when we tend to do it. And we always book last minute, if you know me and my family, we're, woohoo, let's go to London, like next weekend. <laughs> The Berkeley Press of Porsies, so you get all little cute handbags and dresses and yeah, it's all kind of fashion Easter themed and it changes each season and they do slightly tweak it for Christmas. Uh, but yeah, this one's really special. I mean, I wouldn't pay that money and do it three times if it wasn't. So yeah, this one is definitely, definitely worth doing. And if you're in London and you want to do an afternoon tea, this is a very, very good recommendation. If you can get a reservation, that is. And yeah, I mean, that's another reason that if you look in my last video that I've stayed in so many London hotels because me and my mum are always wanting to try out new afternoon teas. So um, yeah, obviously we have to stay the night and go for dinner. <laughs> And then the last one is the Lanesborough. Now, it closed for refurbishment and reopened and I've not been since they got the cat, I have to say. But yeah, I've done this one twice, always at Christmas. So I've never actually done it not at Christmas. I don't know why that's why I enjoy it so much or they bring sort of warm mulled wine, mince pies, and obviously all the classic, um, afternoon tea accompaniments, different cakes, sandwiches, and they're really good here as well. Um, if you do pre-warn them of any allergies or anything like that, always make sure you just ring ahead. For instance, my partner's Muslim, and so he doesn't eat pork, and so yeah, just pre-warn them if you have any dietary requirements. 
so I do still have a long list of afternoon teas that I would love to try. One being one old witch. I believe they're doing a Charlie and the Chocolate afternoon tea and obviously the infamous Ritz and which other one? The Corinthia. I would love to do the afternoon tea at the Corinthia and also the Shard. They were doing a Mary Poppins themed afternoon tea which my mom, me and my mum just never got around to doing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you do do any of them in the near future when they reopen inshallah please subscribe down below and i look forward to seeing you in my next video thanks bye